Oh, TJ, Professor, you're just in time. Here in the cabin of upstairs in the intensive care unit. Kenny has specifically asked for you both. I think you ought to go see him. Oh, now he wants to see his kid. Dickhead. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, I'm I'm still not gonna be nice to him after that whole backstory about him being an absolute uh, dick and just sort of like being all like, oh no, my wife is dead, therefore I'm not gonna hang out with my child. Right, can I teach it to any of them? <gasps> yes, I can teach it to Dunsfast, Dunsfast, Dunsurf, but I can also teach it to Xenomorph. I'll do the Xenomorph because I don't think he's got any flying moves. No, he doesn't. He has like headbutt and hidden power and look iron defense. Psychic beam. Ah, I'll get rid of iron defense. I will like, take on a steel power later. There we go, we've got fly now. Fuck me. Right. To the intensive care unit. Was it, oh yeah, it was upstairs, wasn't it? Yeah, I wonder what the cool sound was before. The hell? Gar style. Do you want to use PS, PS, PS? Yes. TJ use PST. Grr, rip, tear, destroy, grr. Whoa, what is wrong with this Pokemon? It won't come down no matter what. I've never seen a fiction like this before. Could this be tied to the radioactive meltdown? Yes, it is! There's an emergency room. You aren't authorized. Oh, a CGM for Spamboo. Good timing. Both of you and uh, both of you. Kidding is awake and has been asking for you. Please follow me. I'm not interested in him. How are you doing? This video took direct hit to Marine's half-life attack. She is in bad shape. I can imagine so. Fuck me. You know, flight over here faster than I've ever flown before. It's on the landing pad on the roof. It's too big to fit indoors. Although I kept trying to come inside to be with his, his trainer. That's one long Pokemon. I'm not interested in Dad. Gideon's Imperial won't leave his side. This two sure have a strong bond. Oh, Dad! Did you fuck a Pokemon after Mum left? Did you? Did you? You sick fuck. Anyway. Theo! Dad, I'm here with you, so hang on, okay? Yikes, he looks like he's dead already. Unconscious doesn't respond. Imp! He just psst. Boss is hurt. Must protect boss. Oh, that's even worse now. Blissy, blissy. I'm a few medics specializing in the care of injured rangers. Blissy is my partner Pokemon from the out and me out radiation. Uh, it's based a lot of radiation. Kevin's exposure was more severe. His body went to shock as a result. Right now he is out cold and we are providing him with the highest quality care. As well as a stable. For now, anyway. Did you? Is that you? And Theo? And Professor Bamboo, too? I'm glad you're alive. We came as quickly as we could. How are you feeling, Glenn? I'm fine. My exposure wasn't all that bad. <coughs> Please, try to remove yourself. Some, radi some radioactive air has entered your lungs. You need to keep your heart rate down. How can I make it calm when the senses of Pokemon in danger? Listen, <laughs> now that you know some more about what we're up against, I've come up with a plan. I'm now positive that this Kuroi person is the cause of all the meltdowns. If we can take down Kuroi, then the power po plants will be safe and we can begin restoration. Of course, it requires us to find where Kuroi is hiding. Unfortunately, Cameron has been helpful of that thing. Dad? But he's been out cold ever since he... 
It seems Cam expected something like this might happen. When we brought him in, we found these documents on the inside of his jacket. He appears to have been gathering information with Curie and uh, Irene for quite some time. Also included was this letter. To go with me to the Tandor, you know me as Cameron Kane, engineer, private contractor, and father. However, this is not the truth about who I am. My real name is Cameron Stormbringer. I am an agent of Interpol. Eleven years ago, I returned to Tandor to investigate reports of dangerous and illegal experiments on Pokemon. In the process of my undercover investigation, I was discovered and the criminal covered their tracks and fled. People died as a result. It has been my single greatest regret. After I feel it, Interpol released me into an early retirement. But I never forgot what I had discovered on that island. That was a secret agent? Whoa, that's awesome! He was always a reserved sort of guy. He just showed up in town one day after the accident with his kid. He never really talked about who he was or where he came from. Hmm. So Cam knew more about the explosion from ten years ago. The one really sealed lost her life. Why did he not tell me? It's more of the letter. Even though I was retired, I would not rest until those criminals were brought to justice. I knew that proof was still out there, so I became a contractor on the new power plant Epsilon. Using the construction of the new plant as a cover, I planned to investigate the site of the ruined plant to prove that what happened there was no accident. Instead I found something else, something far more sinister. Blueprints and diagrams that detailed the creation of an artificial Pokemon. I was on the verge of having everything I needed to send a report to Interpol when the unthinkable happened. A huge detonation shook the island. That was when I knew that this was far from over. Ah! I'd only escaped the explosion on the back of a, of Yatagayu. From high up in the sky. That was when I saw them. A lone figure emerging from the wreckage of the ruined plant, accompanied by a Pokemon. I recognised the mask that the figure was wearing from the designs I had seen. The Curie interface. A hired device that was made in the labs. Its purpose appears to be some type of mental relay. It transmits the wearer's thoughts and commands to the Pokemon. Rain. A man-made Pokemon, built to be a source of unlimited energy. At its full potential, it has the power to split atoms. However, in order to reach that potential, it needs to consume a large amount of nuclear fuel. To facilitate this, it has the ability to sense radioactivity, a Geiger sense, I believe Rain was I believe Uranium was created on that island and had remained there for years, deep in slumber. It was the arrival of a new uranium fuel on the island that sparked its reawakening. But Uranium was not alone. This person, I have no idea who they are or what their goals might be. They are in possession of the Cure interface and seem to be Uranium's trainer. Additionally, they seem to want to avoid being seen. They do this by utilising Rain's teleportation power, Quantum Leap. However, each time they use this ability, a faint radioactive trace gets left behind. Following these traces, I secretly track them across the region for months. The fact that everybody thought I was dead made it easier to stay undercover. I can only imagine how worried Theo must be. But. Much as I care about my son, you're the only one, protecting Tandor is more important. So you just let us all think you were dead? How could you, Dad? I was devastated. I mean, I, I know it was because you had secret agents and stuff, dude, but you could have at least sent a sign, anything. Yes, this encampment was hard on all of us, especially you, Theo. While he was missing, he was secretly tracking Kuro. 
This information might allow us to finally capture them and put a stop to all this. Or at least give us a good start. We're playing a game that doesn't involve constant reading. Yeah, that that is a certain game on the Thursdays, uh, Saber. At last, they seem to be settled, settled down in the ruins of Power Plant Zeta, north of Vinland. It's remote, and the radiation keeps intruders away. There's a large stockpile of nuclear fuel there, but it's not enough to last them forever. Eventually, they will run out, and they will be forced to move and search for more fuel. The only remaining stash of uranium is in East Tandor. That is where they will move next. I believe it is time for me to make my move. I shall normally alert the rangers for the attack and have the nuclear fuel relocated elsewhere. Should Uranium get a hold of that more fuel, it may be able to reach its fully realized form, a Pokemon with unlimited destructive power. I must do whatever it takes to prevent that. The rangers will set a trap for Uranium and Cure. Power plant in one car. There, they will be forced to reveal themselves. If they, manage to es if they manage to escape, then they will flee to Power Plant Zeta again. In that case, I'll join the Rangers and confront them there. I must bring them to justice for mine and everybody's sake. Nice. Did I ever watch your streams on Thursday till the game is over? <laughs> But that's the end of the letter. Yes, that's it. Although it's not all that Cam left us. He sees a quite a lot of data gathered about Cure, you know, and Uraine. While I was detailing their abilities, weaknesses, he seems fairly fixated on it. You're not stranger to that though, are you kidding? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that aside, Cameron's information may prove to be invaluable. Included was a tracking signal. Apparently during the Battle of the Cure in Uri, he managed to attach a small geolocator to them. My rangers are scanning for their frequency now. Did that say something about Power Plant Satan? No, Omicron though. <laughs> Boss, we chased the tracking signal. It's coming from the west, just like you said. It seems you're only know, deep within the Vinoville Hazard Zone. So, Cam was right there inside Power Plant Sata. Are uh, the hazard suits prepared? Ready to deploy, sir. That's good news. This time the Rangers have the advantage. We will track down these criminals and stop them. Oh, I wish I could leave the mission, but TJ. Normally this is an oath and a ceremony, but time is of the essence, so I'll get right to the point. I promote you to full Ranger status. I want you to leave the mission in my stead. I know you can do it. You've overcome every challenge in your path. You have all eight badges now. You've become a strong, brave, independent person. I just want you to know, I'm so proud of you, TJ. I couldn't have asked for a better child. I just wish I'd been a better part of father. Yeah, you were a dick. <laughs> yeah, Zeta, not Satan. I don't know why you thought Satan anyway. <laughs> I hope that I can make it up to you someday. You can't. After all this is done. Oh, I'm so happy Dad is alive. I didn't ever want to leave him again. But also, I want to make this Curie person pay for what they did. Gary, I want to be a Ranger too. Of course, the you. You're going to get a promotion for this mission. The more strong trainers we have, the better chance of taking down Curie. I'll stay here at HQ and provide backup. You'll want to your position remotely. Professor, we need you in the laboratory. Of course, we're close to the breakthrough on the cure. I just know it. You do, we're gonna, we're gonna be rangers! That's awesome, isn't it? You two have more proven yourselves. Theo, your actions in standing up to Curie were... Well, it was foolhardy. But your, bra your bravery is admirable. Hey, give it a rest. You've just found out Dad was alive and he was in trouble. I couldn't just stand there and do nothing. Dad, I'll make sure you sacrifice was worthwhile. When you finally wake up, I'll be there and tell you that you helped save Turtle. Squad of Rangers waiting at the western dock of Route, zero se uh, route 7. There, you will take a boat across the lake and all the way to Route 8, the wheat fields. The area is designed a hazard zone. You need protective gear. Fortunately, our researchers have developed the hazard suit which will protect you from radiation. At the far side of the route is the road leading to Power Plant Zeta. 
The tracking signal is coming from deep inside the plant. We will need to come prepared. We don't know what to expect. And we don't. What should we do have the more we will have to take over the world? The hell of Fury! Well, I mean, she's trying to destroy the world, so... If you want to take over the world, you might want to <laughs> think about that first. <laughs>